But, um, no, some real news now. Yeah, it's been a very big week in the world of economics and mm. trade policy. <laughs> yeah, watch me dance. Um, it's been a very big week. There's been a bit of a brouhaha. The, um, the New Zealanders have uh, been kicking up a fuss about the fact that Australia has a policy of refusing to take refusing to import New Zealand apples. Mm. And, and, and quite frankly, fire blight. Yes. And quite frankly, so we should. Those sneaky New Zealanders with their identical ten cent pieces. <laughs> this is this is a, this is a thing, right? No, no, no. 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 This is a thing. Right. New Zealand ten cent went dog. <laughs> this is No. This is a, Listen to me explain economic policy, boy. This is a 10 cent coin, right, from New Zealand. This is a 10 cent coin from Australia. Just go with me. They're identical, right? So, you just pass them over. No one notices. No one's any the wiser. Yeah, shops accept them. Right. Vending machines take them. How many times a year do you reckon you notice a New Zealand 10 cent coin? And I guess, I reckon I'd say maybe five. That sound, yeah? yeah? Reasonable? Yeah? Okay. Five. But for everyone you notice, there's probably another four you don't notice, right? That's $2.50. $2.50 every year that you're passing on in New Zealand currency. That's cool. It's only $2.50. There's 20 million people in this country. That's $50 million a year. What happens when you just print money? 